and so on. Um, and, and, and so we have that to look forward to. Um, we are currently uh, putting together, our steering committee is putting together uh, student performance data. Uh, we're trying to, uh, uh, we're, we're looking at uh, the Nebraska standards uh, for science, math, reading, and writing. Uh, we're looking also at our uh, standardized test, our Terra Nova scores, our ACT scores, um, and we're going to try and put all that together so that when we do make our decisions and do take a look at our uh, curriculum, we can make decisions uh, based on the student performance data that we have. Uh, <clears throat> one other component that I think is very, very important is we have had uh, I will say little success in receiving input from uh, our graduates. Um, we send out surveys and we have not had a lot of success getting those surveys back, whether or not it's, it's uh, having to put the stamp on it uh, or whether it's the form itself. Uh, we've had a problem getting it back. So what I would like to see us do is streamline our survey uh, um, present to our graduates that we have a survey online posted on our website, ask them to access uh, our website and quickly fill it out so we can get some data uh, for those students. What we're doing right uh, as far as preparing students for the workplace uh, and, and uh, higher education and areas that we can improve. I think that information would be very, very valuable for us as we make some decisions. Uh, while in Lincoln, um, I also met with uh, uh, Brent Gaswick, who is the Technology Integration Specialist with the Department of Education. Um, a great point that uh, Mr. Gaswick meant is that uh, when we talk about technology, as rapidly as it changes, um, <coughs> one thing that he emphasized to me is do not let it drive uh, all your decision making. He says, know who you are, um, what, what you want to achieve, what are your desired outcomes and goals, and then simply integrate technology uh, to try and achieve those goals. Don't let technology itself drive your decision making. And I, and I think that's a really valid point because we can get into uh, spending an awful lot of money in a, in a, in a pretty big hurry and technology can um, uh, you know, uh, be obsolete within you know a, a matter of a very short time. So uh, I really enjoyed meeting with him. Derry Trampy uh, ha has also visited with him about some of the smart board technology and different things. And so, uh, so we're, we're moving uh, on some different things there. Winter activities are in full swing, including the speech team. Uh, second term grades uh, were stored. Uh, grades were mailed out on December the 29th, um, January 4th, teacher in service. Uh, Mike Bechtold and Jennifer Remery did an outstanding job uh, presenting to the faculty. Uh, we had a lengthy discussion uh, as a staff. Um, uh, Mike and Jennifer put together a staff survey that they asked uh, teachers uh, to fill out as far as their technology uh, needs are concerned uh, and so we're, we're compiling that information and we hope uh, prior to uh, next week's end that uh, uh, we can put all that information together and, and make a recommendation to Superintendent Kroger as far as per technology purchases here at the uh, junior senior high school. Uh, mission statement uh, rally uh, can't say enough I'll just pass out this is our mission statement uh, how we came up with this is that uh, staff members, students, uh, we asked um, we asked for parent feedback uh, and received some. Uh, and uh, between the elementary school, Mr. Alexander and his staff, and the high school staff, that is what uh, we came up with. And so, uh, as I mentioned, we did have a rally. Uh, Deborah Ray uh, was lights out. She gave a presentation uh, to the entire student body on leadership uh, and uh, it was outstanding and, and at the same time our mission statement was uh, uh, 
uh, was also presented. Uh, our electronic media class is going to upload that video uh, onto our website. Uh, so if you want to take a look at the rally, uh, you can access that. They're going to try and get that up uh, tomorrow. Um, putting the finishing touches on a grant proposal. Uh, one of the things that uh, I found very interesting in talking with Brent Gaswick uh, in terms of technology, um, the, one, the one thing in technology that is proven, that research shows improves student achievement um, is audio systems in the classroom, uh, whereby essentially stereo surround sound in the classroom. And, uh, and so Calypso Systems uh, is, a, is an outfit uh, that, uh, that I'm putting the finishing touches on a grant uh, to outfit a classroom. Uh, my hope is that will be accepted and they will outfit a classroom within the next month or so and then we can make a decision as we move forward uh, with our renovation plans uh, whether or not this is something we want to do in all of our classrooms as far as how we wire it up, you know, 21st century learning. Uh, Mr. Alexander uh, mentioned the NISA reading test upcoming, uh, NISA math field test, writing test. Uh, we will be taking the test online, uh, and so Mr. Bechtel assures me that uh, uh, our computers are, are, are set and ready. Uh, we are going to uh, uh, work our students out and make sure that they are prepared to go uh, with the computers that they'll have to use to take that uh, test to, um, to really motivate because we play for keeps uh, as far as the NISA reading test is concerned. Uh, to motivate our students, we are, uh, we are having them establish a reading goal uh, as far as AR points. Uh, and uh, with Mr. Kroger's blessing, uh, junior high students that uh, achieve uh, their goal, we're going to uh, take them on a skating party to Skate Island in uh, uh, Grand Island. And so that's something that uh, uh, the students are uh, kind of chirping about and excited about. Uh, uh, and so hopefully we get, we get a lot more students achieving their AR goal uh, this third term. Uh, third term underway. Uh, the staff greatly appreciated their opportunity today to sit down with the architects and so uh, you know speaking for the staff thank you uh, it was that was, that was big uh, to give them the opportunity to visit with the architects um, outside of that looking forward to 2010 does anybody have any questions you and I talked about having the curriculum committee meet with the staff to set up like our math and go through it. You bet. Is, is that something we need to get, just set out and set a date? I, I, or? Yes, I I will say this, I, in talking with our steering committee, and, and Tom uh, emailed me a, uh, a note a, in regards to that, uh, I, think, I think the number one thing we need to do is, is get our student performance data together. Uh, and, and have that in a form and disseminate that to uh, uh, both to the steering committee and our faculty at large so that they can take a look at it. Uh, uh, we'll know more uh, after January the 18th when our, when our math department gets back from uh, their meeting uh, uh, with the Sand Hills Curriculum Consortium. And so I, I guess as far as a hard and fast date um, I, 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 can't, I can't tell you when would be good, but I would say end of January, um, you know, first week or two in February, I think, you know, as we make plans for the 2010-2011 school year, um, I think, you know, that, that timing would be good. And so, would you, would you like me to, like, Throw out a date for you, Mr. Well, Ziegler, or what? What would you like? set a date exactly right okay. now? But I think when you kind of get organized, you know, sure keep in mind that I think the committee needs to meet with them. Mm -hmm. You know, we talked about this yeah. before. Well, and this is this is part of what we need to do to uh, uh, have this conversation in terms of uh, the recommendations uh, from our uh, uh, exit report last spring. 
and so I think you know we've taken the first step with our mission statement and now I think it's important to take this second step uh, 